There's a new dating app, and it's all about making a fun connection. It really encourages people to lie. Well, sort of. <laughs> sort of, right? Creator Tyler Adams is here. He's going to show us how it works. Welcome, Tyler. Thanks for having me. So people at home are sitting there, and they're going, wait, I know that guy. I know that guy. <laughs> Winner of the Amazing Race on CBS. That's right. Thank you very much. So you've traveled the world, met a lot of people, and yeah. now you and your uh, co-founder have come up with this idea of how to make these connections between people. We know the dating world now is all about the internet. It's all about apps, and, and things are really changing out there. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, we saw, especially in dating, it went from a world where you had to build this crazy profile and take tons of time to ask all these questions. Uh, and then we went to a world where we were judging each other by one picture real That's quick. That's right. You know? <laughs> and so we saw an opportunity to try to keep the speed of what, you know, dating apps have done, but still give it some personality and still enable you to really learn about somebody in a really quick fashion. So we created Two Truths and a Lie. And it's based on the old game, Two Truths and a Lie, where you uh, come up with three statements. Two of them are true about yourself, and one of them is a lie. That's right. And it's a great icebreaker, right? I mean, you can imagine there's three statements and you're trying to decipher which one's true or which one's a lie. And, and it really shows a lot of personality. And when you, you know, get a truth right and then you learn all about that person through a really interesting, you know, I broke a Guinness Book of World Record, right? Well, that can start a really great conversation uh, and enable a meaningful connection right off the bat. So the app's actually been up and running for, for a while. It has, yep, and it's going really well. Tell me about some of the craziest truths and lies that you've seen. You know, there's statements out there from people riding camels across the desert to, you know, being on uh, whale sharks in the ocean. Uh, but I think the unique ones are when someone says that they've, you know, been to five continents or lived in nine cities, because that's where you get to really, you know, ask the question and say, where'd you live? What'd you do? And for a guy that's traveled, uh, those are the ones that really spark my interest. Yeah, and it also tells you a lot about that person. It's not somebody who is wants to stay in one place. It's somebody who likes adventure, who likes to explore. Yeah, so when, you can read a lot into it. Right, and when you only have three statements to make an impression, you know, you really think about what you're going to put out there and, and how you want to express yourself. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at, we've got uh, two truths and one lie from Tyler, so we're going to take a look at those. All right, number one, I've been stung by 100 bees. Hmm. I lived in Australia for a year, and I played golf with Tiger Woods. Okay, so I'm going to guess that you did not live in Australia for a year? Ooh, incorrect. Uh, I did. Okay, do I get a second guess? I'll give you a second guess. Been stung by 100 bees? I have been stung by 100 <laughs> I'm bees. so bad at this. <laughs> All right, so you've never Ti played golf with Tiger Woods. That's correct. I got his autograph when I was a little kid, but uh, unfortunately never got to get out there and play with him. So if we're, if we're doing the app, what would this tell us about you? Uh, so this would tell you a couple things, You have really right? bad luck. You play in beehives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, tell about my adventures in Australia. Mm -hmm. Normally, that's a great conversation piece. It's part of the reason why I moved to Santa Monica. Uh, you know, it's the closest thing I could find to Sydney in the U.S. Uh, the 100 bees always sparks some curiosity because... Uh, I was a little kid running around in the woods, and it's a, it's a pretty funny story, so I like to get into that. And then, you know, Tiger Woods is, is probably somewhat believable yet interesting. Right. So, you, yeah. You, you got me good. Okay, let's go <laughs> ahead, and, and we'll, you can play along at home. Josh, I want to hear your input, but after Tyler's guess. All right, here is my two truths and one lie. I haven't eaten red meat in 30-plus years. I danced with Hugh Hefner or Terrified of Clowns. <laughs> You got it, Josh? Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Tyler, I'm going to say that you have not danced with Hugh Hefner. Mm, wrong. Ah. I was going to say terrified clown. Mm, wrong. Really? No, that's true. Oh, uh, the clowns. <laughs> they, um, they're all true. <laughs> they're all true? That's not how you play. Trick question. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that tells you a, a lot about me. I danced with Hugh Hefner. I'm not sure what it says, but it happened at a, a, an extra party. No, I'm not terrified of clowns. That's, that's my lie. <laughs> Got it. I like Got funny it. people. Well, that's I, good. I like clowns. Halloween's so, coming uh, up, so we're yeah. here for you to uh, stay inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For more information about two truths, just go to kcal9.com. You can click Seen on TV.